Hello everyone and welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're going to kick off a new video series on sensors. The first one I'm going to cover is probably the least understood of all the sensors found in medical equipment, the Hall Effect sensor. This sensor detects magnetic fields and creates an output based on the strength of the magnetic field detected. It all started back in 1879 when a man named Edwin Hall discovered that a conductive plate develops an electrical potential when it's exposed to a magnetic field. The Hall effect occurs when an electrical current is sent through a conductive plate. Normally, the electrons move in a reasonably uniform pattern through the plate, but when that plate's exposed to a magnetic field, one side develops a stronger negative charge by collecting the electrons. The pushing of electrons to one side of the plate is because of the Lorentz force. The magnetic lines of flux from the magnet actually change the pattern of electron flow through the material. This difference of electrical potential, while small, is linear to the strength of the magnetic field and it's measurable. Since the electrical difference is so small, operational amps are used to boost the signal. Those same op amps are used to either make these Hall effect sensors analog where the output of the voltage is proportional to the magnetic field, or digital, in which it's either on or off. Analog sensors are used for proximity sensing and variable speed controls, like in the surgical foot controls, while digital sensors are used for detecting closed doors, loaded consumables, proximity sensing, and motor speed sensing. Hall effect sensors are becoming much more prominent medical equipment because the sensors themselves can be neatly contained within a device and free from exposure to harsh cleaning agents or physical damage. Using Hall effect sensors for detecting instead of microswitches or variable resistors eliminates a mechanical component which is traditionally a high point of failure in a device. Due to the reduced cost of manufacturing magnetics, Many consumables now contain some sort of magnet to interact with a device's Hall effect sensor to tell that device when a consumable is now loaded. Hall effect sensors usually have three leads and should not be mistaken for reluctance sensors, which normally have two leads instead of three. Reluctors do not require a magnet to sense, just a ferrous material which is why they're often used for crank and cam positioning and gear position sensors and wheel speed sensors on your vehicles. Guys, this concludes my first video in the sensor series, Hall Effect Sensors. Please leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and subscribe so you don't miss my other electronics related content. Thanks for watching.